Hello everyone, so this is a little bit of a different style pattern. Um, I have done this pattern before. It was one of the first patterns I did when I was learning how to sew. So this is, I still have that thing that I did from back then, and I'm redoing it now because I want to see A, how I much, how much I, I have improved, and B, if it'll fit better. So, this is an apron pattern. It is Simplicity's 3544, and this is a set of apron patterns from the uh, from 1948 through to 19, the 1950s. And I'm doing version A, if you look up this pattern, which calls for three yards of material. You can applique this, but I chose not to. Thread to match. Uh, three packets of quarter inch wide double fold bias tape and two buttons. So, last time I did this pattern, I did it in a cupcake fabric that I ended up getting two wide bias strip. The bias was too wide. It's, I think, one inch instead of a quarter. And I used too small of a buttons, and I didn't finish any of the seams. Like I said, this was one of my beginning projects. So, this time, I used three yards of a black print Jack Skellington pattern, fabric, uh, black bias, and then I found these really cute Jack Skellington base buttons that I used on the back. They were a little bit wider than what the pattern called for, but I think it worked. So, you will see me put together this, like actually sew it together. Then you will see a clip of me wearing one and then the other, and at the end of the video I will compare and contrast on how well I think they came out. So I will see you all at the end of the video.
Okay, so I have the two aprons here. So on my cupcake apron, which I will end up giving to someone or another, I didn't do any seam finishes. I just clipped it really, really small and then left it raw. So you can see it kind of, um, it frays quite a bit. And it's the same on the skirt portion. It's clipped very small. I think originally when I did it, I was meaning to do French seams, but then I seamed it wrong and just couldn't be bothered to unpick it and sew it. As you can see, the seam binding is way too wide. Uh, it doesn't fit right. Which is why I think originally I had been meaning to French seam the shoulders and just got distracted. And then the button down here is just, yeah, it's it's not great. Even the button hole isn't great. I just zigzagged up and down and didn't actually do a button hole. The binding is not attached well, but that's mostly because I did not do it well. The, uh... Uh, ties are not attached right. I attached them after I put on the binding and didn't follow the instructions on how to do the binding on the back. Um, again, the pockets have no seam finishing whatsoever. I just, I didn't even clip these. I just sewed, I think that's maybe a quarter of an inch. So yeah, I didn't do the right seam allowance. I didn't, do, it, it came out decently, but it was one of my first sewing projects, so I have learned quite a bit since then. So here is the second one. Here's a close-up of one of them. <laughs> but yes, I did French seams at the shoulder and then just pressed it upwards. I have learned that the iron is your friend. The binding is quite a bit better than the other one. It's still not up to the standard I would have liked it to be, but it is quite a bit better. Um, the buttonholes are actually buttonholes. They've got a top and a bottom instead of just a bottom or sides. The tails are actually, you know, secured. The, no longer raw. I did this which seemed the skirt panel to the front side panel. I zigzagged along the bottom. Well, what I did was kind of weird. I clipped one side of the pocket seam allowance so that it would form, so I could form a casing over it. And then I zigzagged all the way around on top of that. And then I pressed the ever living back out of it because it got warped slightly so that it go back into shape. When in doubt, steam, especially if it's cotton. Um, but yeah, as you can see, it, it did turn out nicely. It's, it's a lot better than my other one. And I have a feeling it'll actually stand up to washing and wearing. I did not do a great job with binding, but um, when you're using this small of binding, You've got to be careful and not try to go too fast. And by the time I got to the binding, I probably should have just put it down and waited until the next day. Because I was tired and I was a little grumpy. I was losing focus, but I wanted to get it done. So yes. I hope you all enjoy this video. If you like this style of Project Better, where I, at the end, you know, talk about what all happened, please feel free to let me know. I might do this style again if you all like it. If not, please let me know in the comments down below or anywhere. I, I don't get a lot of feedback from you guys. I don't know if you are actually watching or if you like it or not. But if you feel free to comment down below. Um, I believe my next project will be the knit dress project. I'm, redo I'm doing the Halloween dress over again and I'm doing a different sleeve variation where I lengthen the sleeve so that it's 
to my elbow as opposed to short sleeve because this is meant to be a fall, winter, early spring dress. So that's my next project. Uh, so yes, feel free to comment down below, like, comment, subscribe, etc. Um, I hope you all have a good day. Drink lots of liquids. If it's early morning for you, coffee. If it's late night, tea. <laughs> have a wonderful day, and I will see you all next time. Bye.